let's make sure that we're using and building Boo Hill right because when when used properly, he is possibly one of the best free to play DPSs in the game. So let's get down to business. What's going on, YouTube? Legend here once again. This time at your game with some more Honkai Star Rail, and I wanted to talk about Boo Hill. Now, there's definitely some things that I feel that people need to be wary for, need to be wary about when it comes to building them. And I'm broken down to five things um, in order to try and make that clear for you guys. Because um, he is coming around the corner. Uh, he is coming as recording. He's coming, is it tomorrow? Uh, oh, exactly two days from now. So Wednesday. Wednesday, he is coming. And well, you know, I'm excited. I hope a lot of you guys are excited too. I know a lot of people are playing more than raves and such like that. But for those of you guys who are sticking around or, or playing both games and such, you know, I'm here for you. So let's get down to business. How big? What is things that you have to worry about when it comes to Boo Hill? Well, first, let's talk about his build. When it comes to Boo Hill's build, I feel like there's a misconception based on his kit. Because his kit, what happens is his kit gives you free crit rate and crit damage, which is great, which is awesome. But that could confuse people because crit rate and crit damage isn't something that you want to focus on when it comes to building Boo Hill. What you do want to focus on is break effect and speed. That's right, break effect and speed. Because majority, like an overwhelming majority of his damage comes from break, right? From, from break damage. So when it comes to his crit, his base attack, all that stuff, it affects his damage a little bit, but not, a no, not, not enough for you to build around it. When it comes to building him, I'll just abandon crit. So let me show you what I have, what I have uh, prepared for him right now. Yeah, so Swiggy, Swiggy has his stuff on right now, all right? Now, I might mix stuff up a little bit, but like I still have some work to do because I've been doing a lot of testing and stuff like that. But with his relics, what I'm doing is I'm focusing on break effect and speed. Break effect, speed, break effect, speed, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna give him like a crit rate, I mean a crit damage body because he does have some personal damage outside of break damage, but not that much, right? But break effect speed is the things that I'm trying to make sure I got on everything. Because the thing is with, with Boot Hill is that because break damage makes up so much of his damage, we got to focus on what affects break damage, right? And obviously that's break effect, right? It's not crit rate, it's not crit damage, it's not attack, um, it's not any damage bonuses. It's none of that, right? It's just break effect and the speed is to make sure that he goes as many times as possible. Which is why people like Branya so much with him, right? Not because her damage bonus helps him out, it's because she allows him to go more than once. So when focus on the build, those are the two stats that you really wanna prioritize when it comes to him. Break effect and speed. And that makes it very easy for him, right? The crit is just a bonus. That makes it real easy to build him, which is why one of the reasons why I say he's so free to play friendly. So when it comes to his build, like, yeah, doing a crit body is beneficial um, to kind of help out that little, like, what, 20% or so of his damage. But you want to make sure that it has these stats on it. And then, of course, when it comes to the sets that I have, obviously Talia is great. And as you can see, I'm demonstrating a two-piece uh, two piece uh, uh, break effect, but you can do two piece speed, which I, I keep trying to tell you how well, that's good. And you can even go for good old quantum, right? You can go for good old quantum, and quantum does quantum set does help out too because it allows him to ignore enemies' defense, which is fantastic for break. Defense reduction is going to be fantastic for break. Especially if you have his light cone or if you have E1 uh, 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 Ron May with him, you know, if he has other f sources of defense down, then that's going to be fantastic to have that defense ignore. Um, and especially if you use him with Silver Wolf too, which I'll touch on too. But that's typically the, the, the direction you want to go with, with him, right? In terms of his build. But let's get on to the next one here, right? You have a new bounty. Please process it as soon as possible. This is something that I feel that people are going to have a misconception on when it comes to him is basically since he uses enhanced basic attacks, people are going to think that, OK, so he is not a um, SP hungry character. Uh, I wouldn't say that. 
he is somebody that is going to be um, that is going to use SP, right? Because he uses skill points to enter. He uses a skill point to enter his his standoff state. He one v one is the enemy. Now the thing about this is that he can break shields fast. So as soon as that shield is broken, he's back out that state. And for him to deal damage, he needs to go back into that state. So there's going to be situations where you're going to be using his skill every almost every turn, right? And sometimes when you strategize with him in certain ways, you might end up using more than one skill point in one turn. Because one thing that can happen is because you need to build up his trick shots. Or, or what, what's it called again? His pocket trick shots. Pocket trick shot. You're going to need to build that up as fast as possible. And maybe one way to do it is like, let's say if you have his burst up, right? You go into standoff, you use his ult. That takes down the shield. He gets that pocket trick shot, but it's still his turn. Now he uses another skill to go back into the standoff state, and then you can finish off the enemy, and now you got two trick shots in one turn. Boom, good to go, right? So, or maybe that can even work where you get three in one turn. Let's say if that ult actually kill, breaks and kills the enemy, and then you have enough to be able to go for the next enemy and break their shield. That's all three trick shots in one turn, but that's two skill points being used. When using him smart in these ways, that is SP hungry. He is using a lot of SP, and it seems contradictory to the fact that he's using enhanced basic attacks instead, but I, I do want to make that clear. Um, and that's why sometimes that makes me hesitant when it comes to Bronya, but, you know, she still comes in number one. I've been touching on that a little bit, so let's get right over to um, the, 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 the teammates that he wants to use, his best friends, right? Danger for who? So instead of going over specific teams, we're gonna go over his best friends, right? Now, obviously, Ron May is going to be irreplaceable in the team, right? For those of you who pulled Ron May when she was here, congratulations break teams are now unlocked and you can have the most cracked break teams now and you are good to go regardless of who else you got on your account break teams are set with ron may all right so she you want her on the team all the time if you don't have ron may there's other options you can use but they're going to be performed considerably lower than teams with ron may on it i just want you to know that right but boot hill somebody that can still perform with without ron may but she is she is a big staple but what about your other teammate because a lot of people have been saying Bronya, 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 right and i do agree Bronya is definitely the number one pick because she allows him to go more than once right and that is huge that is huge um for his damage because she's not boosting his damage up too much right she's just allowing him to break again now but who else do you use if you don't have Bronya or or if you if your Bronya's tied up somewhere or something like that who do you use a lot of people are saying Harmony MC, which is a very smart decision. This is good, but I won't say that Harmony MC is the second pick. I'm not going to say it. Why? Because I do think that there's a second pick that comes in between Bronya and Harmony MC. That right here is good old Silver Wolf. Silver Wolf is a fantastic single target debuffer, and Boot Hill is single target. And with there's not that much things that help break damage, Silver Wolf is one of the things that does help break damage because she is going to be reducing defense by a lot, right? She's going to be with her bug and her skill. I mean, with her bug and her um and her ult, she's taking down she's taking down defense by about what is it? Uh, around like 58%, I believe, if I remember that correctly. But she's taking down defense quite a lot. And on top of that, she does a lot of break herself. She, I feel she's a fantastic break support because her burst takes, especially with Ron May on the team, her burst deals some heavy damage to break meters, right? And some might think, oh, well, I want Boo Hill to be the one breaking. Well, I mean, you do want Boo Hill to break in many situations, but you just want the enemy broken, right? The only time that you really, really want Boo Hill to be the one breaking is when he's trying to get his pocket trick shot still. But even then, this can if you if you plan things out correctly, this can just help him get that, right? And if you're somebody that wants to use the quantum set, now she's helping him ignore another 10% defense. On top of that, if the enemy 
is Quantum Week. Boom, fantastic. Now Quantum is his best set, without a doubt, okay? He's going to hit a lot harder. He's going to hit harder than if he's paired with Braun. He's gonna hit harder if he's paired with the Harmony MC, right? The only reason is that Bronya has you go twice instead. I would say Bronya and Silver Wolf are kind of neck and neck when it comes to value on the team. The only thing is that with Bronya, she ends up blowing Silver Wolf out the water once she's E2, right? Once she's E2, it's over because now she's boosting Boo Hill's speed on top of that. And that's just, that's, that's just a double whammy right there, right? And the fact that she also, there's gonna be times where she doesn't use her skill point when she uses her skill. So E2 Bronya is fantastic, perfect, perfect, perfect for Boo Hill. But you got Silver Wolf coming in second right here who helps him hit very hard. And of course, Harmony MC is fantastic because she's also adding super break damage to his, to his damage, which is, which is pretty big damage right there. And other p characters on the team are going to be able to deal damage too. So Harmony MC is definitely up there when it comes to picks. They, they, I don't think these three options are very that far apart, but I do believe that is the order. Bronya, then Silver Wolf, then Harmony MC, all right? Now, you, you and you have to have one of them. You have to have one of them. It, there's, there's no way you can't have one of them unless you just didn't play the story. So as long as you have Ron May, you're good to go. And then in terms of sustains, you know, I'd say... You know, obviously Gallagher is a top pick right there because he helps out break damage. And then Aventurine is is a, is a, is a good pick because he kind of helps break enemies with his follow-up attacks and such. And But any, honestly, any any um, sustain can do the job, but I do think that um, that Gallagher, if he if you can get him to keep the team alive, then he's going to have the most the best option right there. But that's something that I want to touch on when it comes to the teams, or when it comes to the best teammate. Another thing that I want to talk about when it comes to, to Boot Hill is... Aim here. Just kidding. Fudge it. His light cones. Now, light cones are going to be an easy thing when it comes to him, I believe. I believe that you shouldn't pull yourself in too many directions when it comes to light cones, right? Either you get his signature light cone, which they have revealed. Let me see if I can bring that up. So there's his light cone here. So his light cone is going to give him break effect and it's going to help him ignore his enemy defense with his break damage, which is fantastic. And then increases his speed. Oh gosh, it is, it is a fantastic light cone for him. It covers everything that he wants, like I was saying. It gives him break effect and it gives him speed and it gives him defense ignore to increase his, his break damage. It's 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 all around fantastic light cone. It's going to make a big difference between the other options. But if you don't have that, what we want to do is we want to give him something that the light cone does, at least something that the light cone does, right? And a lot of people are going to be looking at this right here, Cruising Tall Sea, because it's our free five star light cone. But I'll tell you right now, I don't know if I care for it. Because the fact of the matter is, the other options I'm going to tell you, it does do more damage, right? But you're missing out on other stats that might just prove to be more important. And what I think is going to be more important is going to be speed, right? So speed is going to be fantastic. This right here gives 12% speed, right? So if you have Aventurine or if you use your part or something like that, then this can work. This can work right here because you get 12% speed as long as you're not getting hit, okay? The damage bonus doesn't really do too much, but you know, it is something. So that speed that this is going to give you, I think is a fantastic option, all right? But if you don't have Venture and you're not using your part, then yeah, your da your, the personal damage he does do is going to take a hit, but then you can go to this right here with the low base attack and get 18% speed, right? Whenever he defeats an enemy, which he will be defeating enemies, right? That's something that he will be doing. So. You're gonna be able to keep up this 18% speed buff up. So even though you're getting less damage than the cruising through the Tetrasolar C icon, you're going much more often because you have that 18% speed, especially if you're breaking one or two speed thresholds. So those are the really light cones that I really think is only worth it to pay attention to. I, I don't think there's really any reason to go anywhere else. When in terms of light cones, like all the other light cones are essentially just stat sticks, really. So, and then they increase personal damage, which isn't going to be a big deal. 
So those are only light cones I really think that's worth paying attention to. But notice that two of them, right? Because screw install C is, is still an option. You can still use it. It's just that, you know, I just think that giving a speed is going to be better. But these two right here, they're completely free. They're free. You, you can get them whatever, you know? You get these just from pulling, um, and, and you can get a lot of them. If you've pulled it all, you should have this unless you deleted them. And then this right here is, is free, you know? And this right here is, is, I do believe this is free too, actually. I do believe this is free too. You do get, isn't this one of the light cones that you get from, uh, yeah, this is like, yeah, this is one of the light cones that you also get from, um, from either just doing weeklies or getting it from the memory of chaos shop there. So all his options, except for a signature light cone are free. So that, that's just another, that's just another reason as to why he is, I, which is why I consider him one of the best free to play units. Um, I do want to touch on on this real quick, you know, in terms of his signature light cone, because a lot of people are gonna be asking, E1 or S1 for him. Now, a lot of times people usually make this into an entire video into itself, but I don't think it deserves an entire video because it is such a simple answer, and that is his S1. S1 doesn't cost as much because getting an Eidolon is more expensive than getting a light cone, number one. Number two, his light cone gives him everything that he wants. It gives him a whole bunch of break effect. No other light cone gives break effect. Um, gives him more speed and gives him some defense ignore, right? It is going to be a fantastic upgrade for him. Now, when it comes to the more expensive option, the Eidolon, yeah, it does give him his kit a little bit more ease of use where he gets an extra pocket trick shot. He gets a little bit of defense ignore but it is not as much as the light cone. So light cone is just a clear and utter winner when it comes to the E1 versus S1. And so if you're trying to, if, if you want to pick one of those, then yeah, then you go ahead and do that. But I do think that you should hold on to some Primo gems for afterwards, after him and when it comes to the next patch and everything like that. But you know, that's up to you. Whatever, you can hyper invest in whoever you want to hyper invest into. But those are just the tips that I w did want to give when it comes to boot him. Um, he's going to be a fantastic unit. I feel like he's going to be slept on a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. If you want him, go ahead and get him, and he's going to do a fine, fantastic job, as long as you pay attention to those tips right there, okay? Now, for your boot hill wanters, of course, be aware of these, th these things um, when it comes to getting him. But once you're, once you're aware and everything, then you're good to go. So I'll end that right there. Um, like the video, if you like the content that I do give you, um, comment your thoughts down below. Um, if you're gonna be getting bullhill, definitely let me know. And subscribe to the channel so you can get more content like this. And with that end up here, legend out. How would you like to land? Good question.